We're getting ready to have a gully washer. Thundering, light rain, and heavy thunderstorms are cast, forecast. I knew today was going to be a knife day. I just didn't know what kind of knife day it was going to be. I just uh, delivered some restaurant knives. I was 14 that I knew about. I got a call from a lady. I just picked these up. There's one Wustoff. The rest are Hengels. One is a Cuisinart, maybe two are Cuisinarts, and this is a little, uh, one of them Chinese Quaker knives from Sam's Club, I think, a little pair. Of. And then I got a five set of Cooks. And then, and then, right there, right there in the mail, in that box, in my opinion, is a fine ticket. Mail-in job. Once it's sharpened on a wicked edge. I said, no problem. I'll get it to you. Well, there it is. It needs polishing up bad. It's a Mac. Made in Japan. My opinion, one of the best. They're a little hard to find, but I really like them. They are nice taquitos. I'm just lucky enough to have found some at the thrift store over the years. I paid 50 cent a piece for them. I paid 50 cent for this one long ago. It's a real heavy, thick knife. The point was messed up on it. I had to remind it. It's like a chopper. And then I found this one. Then I found this one. Yeah, they got wooden handles on them. That's the way it goes. Then I found this one. And then my buddy Low Tide Tim, about three months ago, he found this one. This is a little teeny knife here. But it's nice. And then a couple days ago, he found this one at thrift store. They are nice to keep those, buddy. I like them, Mackies. Anyway, I got a. Uh, my son has uh, picked up two sets of knives for me today. I'm not sure what they are. I think there's. You remember that butcher knife guy we do the butcher knives for, that beat cutter from Elizabeth City? I think he's got eight or nine knives from him and four or five knives from another guy. That he picked up this afternoon. He's going to bring them to me tonight. We're having dinner with uh, Low Tai Tim at a pizza place. So I'll be nice Zilla tomorrow. And I got a Kershaw to pick up with a broken tip. Guy wants a tip on his Kershaw. So uh, Thursday will be a nice Zilla day. I'll get back to you. Beaver, Beaver, uh, I don't think I told you, Be Beaver had a. Uh, his wrist, his wrist worked on. What do you call it? Carpal syndrome, carpal tunnel syndrome, or something. A couple, three weeks ago, when the doctor released him to go yesterday, so he went this morning, crack of dawn, nighttime. Oh my God, you ain't gonna believe it. He found a gold chain with a star of David on it. Uh, some other, I think that's the only thing he found gold, but he found a lot of targets. And Atlanta and Ottawa. Okay, and I don't know about the mumbles, man. I know he got back last night late. I don't know if he went today. If he did, I'll add it to I add it to the back here. I'll see you later. Well, that's the restaurant knives I picked up today. Now, this is the only restaurant I got that wants them back the next day. So I'll sharpen these in the morning and take them back to them in the afternoon at four. They close from four. I mean, they close at three. They open breakfast and they close at uh, three and reopen at five. Stand by. All right, here's the ones my son picked up. It's uh, four Inkel Internationals. Chefs of Slicer, Santuco, and Opera. And then I got the butcher knife from the guys in Elizabeth City. They're all Victor Knox, great big long ones. This guy's got three. There's two different guys in the same box. I'm not gonna unwrap them basically the same knives they work for food line in elizabeth city 
but I've been doing I've been doing this guy's knives for a year or two. And this guy's this is a second sharpen on these. So Thursday, as I said, nice though.